over here checking out Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, perhaps you've heard of them, or perhaps you haven't, but you should have. Uh, they have a whole variety of masks, they have a variety of collectibles, and a variety of action figures. So I'm going to take you through, and maybe this is to be a whole bunch of surprises for you, but let's come check it out together. So you can see on the wall of masks here, a great collection of characters from Chainsaw Massacre. You got Leatherface, you got the Terrifier over here, you got Pennywise, and a lot of just great classic characters, as well as just some mixture of random characters in here. You got the Killer Clowns, you got Toxie the Avenger, and you got this giant premium scale Pennywise clown. Over here is a look at a whole bunch of characters. You got some Day of the Dead characters as well. These are prototype. Below that, you have some other characters from True Romance. And then below this, aptly with the, the upcoming film, you have the Toxic Crusaders. You got uh, you have Toxie Mask here. You have some figures that look like they're pretty close throwback to the original figure line as well. You can see Toxie here in his little case. And this, to me, looks exactly like the one I had as a kid as well. And you get a whole variety of uh, Dr. Kilimoff. You got Yvonne. You got Mayor Grody. Halloween fans will appreciate seeing Michael Myers and the, uh, the psychiatrist. I forget his name over here as well. Uh, you have a whole bunch of Michael Myers. They come in like these great VHS packaging look like. Uh, you got Halloween 5, Halloween 4, uh, <laughs> uh, all sorts of, uh, even down to Halloween H2O on the other side there. We'll try to check it out. And then the modern Halloween, so Halloween Kills and the newest Halloween as well. And that great Season of the Witch box set we'll check out on the other side. Fans of 90s band Guar will be able to get a whole bunch of collectibles based on that line. These are all prototypes. Uh, below here, we got some more Leatherface with his iconic chainsaw. We got Art the Clown right below that from Terrifier with a prototype version as well. And another smaller scale version. Um, over here, we get a whole bunch of more characters from Terrifier. And I'm sorry, I was kind of taken by uh, Evil Dead 2 over here, Dead by Dawn, where they have some of the very unique props that you've only seen in that film, including the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. So it's pretty cool to see that uh, as well. Uh, fans of Texas Chainsaw Massacre will not be able to just get figures, but the entire family set from uh, the dinner scene there with Grandpa and Sally. So that's pretty cool to be able to build out that whole scene. And then we have some great little Return of the Living Dead characters here as well. A lot of these are prototype stages, but it's cool, cool, pretty cool to see these things. Uh, over here, we get a whole bunch of um, Madri monsters in their prototype form. You can see the Creeper here from the Jeepers Creeper series. Uh, you don't really see these produced a lot of places, so this is kind of cool. Pumpkinhead, uh, Reagan, of course, over here as well. Uh, and then a great line of um, a lot of these look like prototypes of killer clowns from outer space, including that pod right there. But like I said, you don't really see these at this scale, at this level of detail anywhere else. So it's kind of cool uh, that somebody's making them. And then down here, you got some more horror characters, including Candyman. Um, so just nice to see these represented somewhere. Here we go, some more throwback characters of Leatherface. Just remembered his name is Dr. Loomis, right? Uh, also weird that the bad guy in Scream is named Loomis, I think. Uh, but you got the, uh, I think this is the Christopher Lee Dracula over here on the end. Curse of Frankenstein, Curse of Dracula. Uh, and then here's that um, three-pack I was telling you about, the trick-or-treaters from Halloween 3. Kind of an odd one, no Michael Myers in that one. Uh, and then you got some more characters down here from Resurrection and H2O. On this side, you got the Cobra Commander helmet, along with some, it uh, looks like, ornaments here. A nice Sub-Zero mask, a Shere Khan mask, a Scorpion mask, so a whole variety of characters here. These are all prototype products as well from House of a Thousand Corpses. So a very expansive wave here. I know NECA has done some, but they've done the, the Toonie Terrors versions, so these are the scarier versions of all the different characters from House of a Thousand Corpses as well. And down here we got some of their, I think, currently released Michael Myers lines. Um, and then we have some figures from... A variety of other uh, horror properties as well. And then down here, we got that great Freddy costume with the uh, the knife hands. Over here, we have some more accessories. Another, everyone loves Sam. So being able to see more Sam is not a bad thing. Um, there's a giant version of Sam over here as well that looks like a prototype. And then a whole Goosebump series with that classic uh, haunted mask, uh, Slappy, and then a whole bunch of figures. And it looks like they come with stands with the classic books on the background as well. So kind of cool to see that there's the 
haunted mask character with the the head of the um, main character. I forget what her name was at the time. The slappy mud monster, a whole bunch. Kind of aptly timed with Goosebumps releasing on uh, Disney Plus soon to be able to see a whole bunch of these as well. And here's the other wall of masks. You can see things from House of a Thousand Corpses, classic monster movies like Wolfman. You got um, Lost Boys. You got Kiss. You got Exorcist. Scooby-Doo masks. So if you want to do Scooby-Doo and pretend to be one of those villains where they rip off your head and it's Old Man Weathers underneath, you can do that because it's got that cartoon look to it. So I just absolutely love that. Look at this, how amazing the detail is on that. It just feels like right out of the cartoon. Uh, here's the Creeper next to his axe as well and an assortment of other characters from other movies as well. But uh, yeah, really cool to see Scooby-Doo masks based on the cartoon. And that wraps us for over here at Trick or Treat Studios. I hope you guys saw some really cool surprises and things you weren't aware of that existed that now you probably want to buy. So uh, go look up more on their website and uh, stay tuned here for more coverage of Toy Fair. So like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you at the next booth.